Believe it or not, this is a new Nissan Leaf. Doesn't look a whole lot different, but there are big differences beneath the skin. Bigger batteries, more power, more range. Let's dive in. First things first, the name. It isn't just a Leaf, that car continues. You can still get the regular Nissan Leaf. This one is the Leaf E+. Plus. Biggest difference from the outside, if you look really carefully, you'll see a little blue stripe on the bottom edge of the bumper, so um, that's about it. There's not a whole lot changed with the Leaf inside. It's the same functional, but uh, somewhat uninspiring interior, but um, you've got decent space. But as I said, the big differences are beneath the skin. Battery capacity, it steps up enormously from 40 kilowatt hours to 62 kilowatt hours. And that takes the range right out to 385 kilometers. So a lot more useful for a lot more people. There's also more grunt. So you're now looking at 160 kilowatts. So heaps more pulling power. And you notice that the 0 to 100 time, for example, is dropped by one second. When you squeeze the throttle, it's certainly more vibrant. There is the occasional negative, you've got a bit more torque steer, so the steering wheel sort of wants to pull itself its own direction. It's still pretty basic in the way it drives, it's um, a little bit sort of floppy around corners. It's certainly not a uh, sporty EV, it's more about uh, practicality, it's more about city running around and zipping around town. There's still lots of leafness elsewhere, I mean the interior it's a little bit uninspiring but it's practical, it's sizeable. There's a reasonable amount of equipment, you've got all the safety gear, um, you've got things like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, so the connectivity that people expect. Anytime you get more, you pay more, and in the Leaf's case, you're looking at uh, about a $10,500 step up over that regular Leaf. So the E Plus, $60,490 plus on road costs, not exactly cheap. But one big appeal with the Leaf E Plus is its ability to do vehicle to grid charging. So to power your house, to send electricity back into the grid. Now that functionality has been built into it. It's also in the regular Leaf, but of course in this one, you've got an extra 22 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. So you can power your house for longer. You can do more with it. It's not about to change the way people think about a Nissan Leaf, but uh, the E Plus adds depth to the range. It gives you more flexibility with the car. It gives you more performance. So it does absolutely uh, head things in the right direction. So yes, the E Plus is a step up, but it's also a big step up in money, which makes it a little bit harder to justify. For me, the big appeal here is the extra kilowatt hours, the extra battery capacity, the ability to power your house. That's when it starts to make a lot more sense.